Hi, my name is Brianna Murphy and this is my capstone presentation. I'm going to briefly discuss the public issue that I researched this semester and then I'll go into several experiences which demonstrate how I have become an educated citizen. To begin, the public issue that I focused on is gentrification. This is a process in which poorer areas of a city experience an influx of middle class or wealthy people who renovate and rebuild homes and businesses. This often results in an increase in property value and the displacement of earlier, usually poorer residents who can no longer afford to stay in their homes. Omaha has had a history with gentrification since the 70s, and many other large American cities have this problem on an even larger scale. I chose this issue because it is something that specifically affects those who struggle economically, as well as primarily affecting people of color. This group of people sees a lot of disparities in access to healthcare too. I am personally connected to this topic because of where I live. I recently moved to Midtown Crossing, which is around 31st Street, and I realized that this is an area that was gentrified. I was interested in learning more about the history of Omaha, specifically related to Black and people of color neighborhoods. And because of this public issue project, I learned a lot about politics of the past that affects society today. And I feel like this knowledge can be used when providing nursing care to disadvantaged individuals. Okay, now I will discuss experiences from during my time at Nebraska Methodist College, which demonstrate how I am an educated citizen starting with the characteristic of effective communicator. An effective communicator uses critical thinking to generate, connect, and organize ideas in a written, oral, and nonverbal manner. My first experience relating to being an effective communicator is becoming more assertive. My teenage self struggled with self-esteem and depression, and I had a really hard time connecting with other people. Um, I used to have a defeated worldview and a passive mindset that inhibited my success. But over time, I have healed and I've become much more optimistic. Along the way, my communication style has become more assertive too. Being an assertive communicator helps everyone involved. Since overcoming depression, I have learned that my voice has value. As a nurse, it is especially important to have an assertive communicating style to be effective in teaching patients about their health and in working with other members of the healthcare team. Now that I am more skilled at communicating effectively, I can use my voice to help those in need. Gentrification impacts those who are already disadvantaged. I can be politically active and vocally support government action, which benefits those who are struggling financially. Now, my next experience relating to being an effective communicator is nonverbally communicating with those who have dementia. Over my years of being a CNA in long-term care, I have learned strategies in controlling my tone of voice, facial expressions, and body language to evoke positive responses in patients with dementia. It is easier to tell the great effect nonverbal aspects of communication have on those with dementia because it has such a great impact on the way that they respond. But it also has just as much of an effect on the rest of the population, though they may not show it as much. I learned that it is important to be aware of how I'm coming across to best interact with patients case by case. Being a more effective communicator can help empower patients who are struggling to be their own advocate. As a nurse, I may not be able to help a patient with their housing situation directly, but I might provide them with tools and resources to strengthen their future if they are facing gentrification. Um, next, I will share experiences that demonstrate how I am a reflective individual. A reflective individual routinely engages in habits of inquiry that influence ways of thinking and actions by integrating learning from a variety of disciplines and exhibiting personal responsibility. My first experience relating to being a reflective individual is choosing sustainability. Since learning about how individual consumer choices can affect the earth, I make active decisions every day to reduce my impact and my waste. One thing I value is responsibility, and by reflecting on my actions, I have changed my habits to become more environmentally responsible. I learned through this process that every individual can make an impact by reflecting on their habits. At times, my choices as just one person out of billions may seem insignificant, but that sort of thinking doesn't get society anywhere. 
I know that a greater organization, organized action is probably needed to prevent climate change and reduce pollution, but it doesn't hurt for me to do my best. My time reflecting on my own choices has shown me that no matter how insignificant my actions may seem, they do amount to something. I can apply the same reasoning to voting as well. It might seem like my vote doesn't matter, but collectively, if everyone votes, positive change can be accomplished. Every election, I vote for those who I know will support our struggling communities and give power back to the people instead of the rich. In part because of my research on gentrification in the history of Omaha, I am dedicated to improving the lives of those who need the most help. My next experience related to being a reflective individual is my shifting beliefs and values over the past couple of years. When I reflect on the person I was five years ago, I realized that even though I feel like the same person, my beliefs and my values have shifted. Instead of aligning more with my parents' conservative and Christian ideologies, I now hold closely more progressive ideals, and I no longer consider myself to be religious. I'm always striving to become a better person, and this means I invite change into my life. By expanding my education and reflecting on myself, I have changed a lot as a person, and I hope to continue changing throughout my life. I learned through this process that education and critical thinking are essential to achieving positive change. It is especially important to learn about other groups of people besides your own, as this expands your worldview and fosters empathy. I desire to promote the same growth process in others, and I learn that it is less important to spread my own beliefs and better to promote reflective and critical habits in others to help them reach their own conclusions, kind of like what I did by myself. By, re by reflecting on the world, it empowers people to be a leader in their own life rather than simply following the values of others like I did when I was younger. I believe that supporting quality, unbi unbiased, Accessible education, which promotes critical thinking, is essential in creating a society that strives to be always improving. I can help enact change that helps communities experiencing gentrification by speaking out about this and encouraging others to also be reflective individuals. The last characteristic of an educated citizen is a change agent. A change agent uses the disciplines of the liberal arts and sciences to analyze historical and contemporary situations and systems to develop a cultural competence and to take appropriate initiative to effect change. My first experience related to being a change agent is promoting vaccinations. When the COVID-19 vaccines first became accessible to the public, I knew how important it would be for everyone to get vaccinated. Because of my nursing education, I know how they work and how safe they are. However, many people had their doubts about it and were averse to receiving the vaccine. I knew that herd immunity takes cooperation of everyone to achieve, so I really tried my best to encourage those I know to contribute. In a context such as getting vaccinated, it takes a lot of teamwork from everyone to do their part and get the vaccine. I learned that being a change agent by teaching people of the importance of vaccines is easier said than done because many people wouldn't listen. Because gentrification is such a large issue, it may take many people over a long period of time to address it. I can be a change agent by speaking up and encouraging other people to care. My next experience related to being a change agent is um, my population focus project that I completed with a group this past semester. During this project, we researched and worked directly with a community within Omaha to help provide a need. We fundraised and provided hygiene product kits to the Kuntz Memorial Lutheran Church and Food Pantry. After working with and researching the community, we summarized our experiences and our findings and presented it to our classmates. This really was an eye-opening experience for me. It is one thing to research and discuss people who experience disparities in poverty, but it's even better to get out there and physically be a helping hand. I learned that with as much talking and speaking out about public issues that I do, I can be doing more to physically help those in need. This project encouraged me to be an agent for change in ways that I otherwise am not. This project also showed me that being educated about public issues is important, but applying them and going out and physically enacting change myself serves an even greater good. 
In my public issue assignment concerning gentrification, I learned about agencies which directly work against the problem by serving the community. In addition to learning, I can be a better change agent by giving my time to help. All in all, by growing as an effective communicator, a reflective individual, and as a change agent, I have become a better, more holistic nurse. I see how every patient I treat is a whole person with lives and families and struggles. These experiences will help me see each patient not just as a diagnosis or as a room number, but as a unique individual with different life experiences than my own. Learning about public issues such as researching gentrification allows me to be a more educated citizen. During college and continuing long afterwards, these learning experiences impact the person I am and help me become the best version of myself. By being an educated citizen, I feel that I can be more effective and caring in the nursing care that I give to my patients throughout my career. That's it, thank you very much.